nikisha toka CS nilitoka na mtoto na wakanipeleka kwa matani toward wakati teenager huyu anasimulia namna na hali alijifungua mwanawe wa kiume uongozi wa hospitali hii ya Thika level 5 unapinga simulizi yake na kusema kuwa mama huyu alijifungua mwanawe akiwa ameaga mnamo tarehe 18 Novemba. after 30 minutes wakakuja waka wakaniambia mtoto amepoteza fahamu nikauliza na ko wapi wakaniambia wakikaa hivyo kuna place wanapelekangwa a still birth and the mother was shown the baby male confirmed the outcome being a still birth and and the baby now was uh, that that baby was now transferred to the mother Hata hivyo familia hii inataka kuonyeshwa mwili wa mtoto anayekisiwa kuzaliwa akiwa meaga jambo ambalo hospitali hii inapinga na kupelekea familia hii kusema kuwa uenda mtoto huyo aliuzwa Akaniambia niambie mam vizuri mtoto wako wapi so kabla niongea akamwambia mtoto nilipata mtoto kama amechoka. Na mimi nilikuwa nanyonyesha mtoto. So nikaambia huyu daktari aache kumdanganya. Juu mimi nilinyonyesha mtoto. Posibly is in her grief and have emphasized to the mother that she needs to really help her daughter to go through grief. Utata ulizuka pale ambapo familia hii litakiwa kulipa ada ya kujifungua kwa mama huyu na vile vile ile ya kuhifadhi ama kutupa maiti ya mtoto huyo. She paid the, the disposal fee for the fetus to the hospital yeah, and which I can confirm received the same. So it's the work of the hospital now to dispose the stillborn. Pesa za disposal tulilipa pesa za disposal na tu kuona hadi mtoto. Kilio cha tineja huyu pamoja na familia yake cha kupewa mwili wa mwanawe kinaambulia patupu. Sasa wakitaka serikali kuingilia kati na uchunguzi wakina kufanyika. Maybe somebody took advantage of the teenage mother because she was very vulnerable and could not defend herself. It's our prayer that justice will be served. Mina taka tu mi justice ya mtoto angu ipatikane. Kao, 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 wanasema alipaswa, walete bodi nione.